Hi everyone, my name's Anne Marie. Welcome to this Spellbinders How to Make My Shadow Frame Project, or should I say, my Tiny Shadow Box Project. So, this is one of the dies that we're looking at from the Flower Garden series um, in our you know few weeks that we look at so many of them uh, in more detail. So, I've got to be honest, when I picked this and I thought, oh, what have you picked it for when it came? What can I do with that? And it was one of those, I thought, oh no, I'm going to leave that till last. But then I made one of the little shadow boxes. And I thought, oh, this is really cute. So then I made the second of my shadow boxes. And I thought, oh, this is so Moorish. And I've ended up, I've made a box full of them. And those are going to be for our project. It's going to be a home decor project after this video. But I wanted to show you how to make them. Because you're going to be boggled with what I do for the home decor project. So you don't want it all at once. And some people might not want to watch the full project. They might just want the quickie on how to put these together. So in this die set you get six dies. Two of them are the main uh, parts for the box. So you've got the top and the bottom. And then the others are the extras, the tiny flowers and a little banner. So you get two main sections to make the box. This is the bottom. This makes the square, well I should say rectangle part of the box. This makes the fancy top. So when you look at the two dies and you look at the box, you can see that section is the fancy shape and the underneath is this section. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to make it and I've got to be honest I started off and I thought I'll die cut these and I'll show you um, on white cardstock but unfortunately um, you really need to see it on double sided because I think it makes it more um, easy to understand. So I die cut the base of the box on double sided cardstock and I've die cut the fancy section of the box on double sided. So the first thing we're going to do is add, um, well we're going to score our lines. Now when you use make the base of the box, whatever section you want to be seen at the base of the box is this you know what you want facing you and then you start folding in so if you were wanting the Harley Quinn to face you then you would fold the sides in this way but I want the plain side because I, I want you to be able to see what I'm doing so when you've die cut it you've got all the scores along the edges. Now the correct way to do this is with a bone folder and you just follow those scores around each part of the actual box. If you don't want to use a bone folder or you don't have one, you don't have to, you can just use your fingers because the score lines are good enough for you to be able to do it with just your fingers. But if you use your bone folder, it just makes a nice, neater edge, if that makes sense. So those are all the folds on the main box section. And then we're going to do the same on the top. Now, I'm going to use the top this way. And you can see that you've got four cuts and then you've got scores along the side. Quite a bit difficult to tell there. You get all the score lines along the sides of the cuts. So we're going to do exactly the same with those. And we're going to fold them underneath. Again, if you want them nice and sharp and clear, use your bone folder. If you only want to use uh, nature's 
dibblers, as they call them, your fingers, just use those. So you can still get a good line using your fingers. So that we've scored and folded our top as well. So now we can add tape to both of them and I want to show you where you're going to add your tape. So for the top you're going to do it on the reverse so whatever colour you want on showing on the top you're going to turn that over and put your tape on the back. Oops, move that over. And then for the base again for whatever colour you want to see at the back of your box is the, going to be the colour facing you. Now we're going to use red tape and I thought I would do this all in real time because then you can see exactly how, how I do it really. So I'm going to start off adding the red tape on the actual base and I'm adding it through two, three, the six lines of tape that you need on the base and I've got to admit I'm, I am rushing a little bit because I don't need to get bored because you know you, you don't tune in to watch me put tape on everything but for this you know I need you to see where I put it okay so that's for the base those six sections and then for the actual lid we're going to have it on four sections just cut a little bit more tape and to the lady that says um, oh, what did she say she said about me and scissors be careful <laughs> You won't be watching this one then while I'm waving them about. So just add two more sections of tape. There we go. Oops. There. So our tape is on the base and the top. Now because oh, I am a bit um, impatient... I take all my tape off at the same time. I don't do one section and then the other because I've made so many of these for the project that we're going to do and um, I was so impatient to make whether it was the first one or the last one because they just look so cute. There we go. My pet hate is the uh, remnants of the red tape because it sticks to you so badly. There we go. And the last section there. Okay, so now we've peeled off all our tape top. So we can now make our box. So I'm going to start with the base and I'm going to fold in the sides and I am going to use a bone folder you don't have to but this is how I did each and every one so fold in both of the sides like so and then I fold it upwards and this is the bit that I'm thinking I hope you can see so I fold the one corner in and press it to that corner and then fold the opposite side in and so I'm doing it backwards now flat to flap and then you fold the side over so I hope that made sense so we'll do the opposite side so fold it in and fold it in and the two flaps will sit to the base of the side of the box and stick to the tape that you've put on 
and then that flap folds over them. And then I simply use my bone folder to press it all down to make sure it's nice and neat into the corners like that. So that's the base of our box and for the project that we're going to be doing we will want just the box as it were as well as the shadow uh, box as well as the full thing. So that's the style we're going to want for our plain boxes when I call them that on the project. So now to put as it were the fancy lid on it all you do is because you've folded it and you've got your glue on it and everything and it's ready to go you pop the top over the base and then I go corner to corner and press the sides in, press them down at the corners and press the sides onto the side of the box. So you can fold and squeeze, it isn't going to hurt it and then take your bone folder again and I just run it along the edge to make sure they're stuck down like that and then just if you need to put that back into shape but it normally does that on its own now I will say I've used red tape I haven't used wet glue because I tried it with wet glue and I got myself into such a sticky mess red tape is instant it's you know it's strong enough to hold them if for any reason you're going to use them for something that's going to be long lasting um, you could add a little bit of a PVA seal around the edge. So, But that's how we make our tiny shadow boxes and that will stand us in good stead for the project that's coming next. So I hope you've enjoyed watching, I hope I haven't messed it up too much and it, I made it look easy and not even more difficult because believe me these are going to look great on cards on scrapbooking pages on home decor there's so much you can do with them so stay tuned for the project that's coming up next it's going to be an absolute corker so thanks for watching and i shall see you next time